Hi, after the experiments of the burning, now we are doing the chemical way. Um, the material we are using is a kind of detergent that we use every day. The brand is called 84, but I think most of the detergents are using the similar material. And what is important inside is um, chlorus. And um, the theory I wrote on the paper is like um, yeah, this water plus the chlorus, and it turns into uh, caustic soda and hypochlorous acid. And this hypochlorous acid turns into hydrochlorous acid and oxygen. And be very uh, cautious about this, this oxygen. It's not the oxygen that we are breathing every day. It's kind of a form in autumn. It's one single autumn oxygen. And um, it, is, it acts like a very strong uh, oxidant. It oxidizes protein very well. And the protein is exactly where our silk fabrics is. It's, uh, our, our silk fabrics is made of protein, right? And now we are doing the experiments now. I put the detergent into the glasses that have been prepared for. Oh, I do not have to pour too much. Oh, it's like um, pouring out the red wine, right? Do you like red wine? But it cannot be drink, you know. It cannot drink, right? And now I'm gonna cut each kind of uh, materials and put into the the appointed glasses. The first glass I put is 100% silk. I will put all the silk fabrics in inside. The satin tuli dupin. And the second glass I will use silk blend. 44% um, silk plus 55% cotton. It's blend. You know, just part of them are silks and part of them in cotton. The third is polyester and nylon. And the last one, 100% cotton and 100% viscose. So I put mixed fabrics inside, but um, you know, let's see what will happen, okay? First. The first one, it's uh, it's our silk satin. I'll, I will uh, cut a piece of our silk satin. I put it here first, so we can later on put them together to see the effect. So the last piece, two pin. I still put it here. The second glass. This is the silk and cotton blend. I will cut down a bigger piece so we can see what will happen out there. I put it here. And uh, Nylon, this is nylon tuli. This is nylon tuli. And this is polyester. And polyesters are most likely to be used to pretend silk because it has, you know, the textured yarn, which you know seems like a little bit um, shiny, but the hand feel and um, you know, and the drape is totally different from silk, of course. But it's much cheaper. So mostly, if you are buying a silk that is fake one, most most likely they are made of uh, polyester. I put it here. 
uh, alongside with the nine. And last two, they are also natural fabric. The most kind of you know fabrics we are wearing every day is cotton and viscose. And uh, let's see what will happen if we put that into detergent. Same as like our silks. Let's see what will happen. This is 100% viscose. And uh, the last one, 100% silk, 100% cotton. Okay, this is cotton. This is a cotton satin. Okay, then I will put them uh, once a time into the glasses together, almost in the same time. One, two, three glasses, third one, the fourth, and uh, I shake it so they will be inside it. Shake it. Shake it. Then let's wait and see what will happen to them. This is silk. This is silk blends with cotton. This is polyester and nylon. And this is one one of the pieces cotton and the other pretty pieces viscous. You know, this is they are also nature, but uh, you know, let's see what will happen, okay? Uh, please come here to see the silk. They start to make melt because and they start to get yellow, right? And they start to melt very quick and the silk cotton blends it starts to melt also but not as fast as 100% silk because part of them are cotton and the line, nylon and polyester nothing is changing it's exactly the way it is when we put them and the cotton viscous also, nothing is changing. Nothing is changing. Then let's come back to see the our silks. They start to melt and they start to get even more yellow, right? And they get thin and they start to dissolve. And you know, in the first layer you can see a lot of bubbles because you know they have been um, oxidized by the by the detergent and this silk cotton plants it starts to dissolve too but you know among them there are cotton yarns and those cotton yarns remains the same remains no changing and the polyester and the nylon, they change nothing. And the cotton and the viscous, they change nothing too. They turn very yellow, start to melt. Here you can see the yarns. Why you can see the yarns are coming out? Because the silk yarns has been dissolved and the cotton yarns, there remains no changing. So you can see the yarns are getting loose because the silks have gone, have been, you know, dissolved. And the cotton's yarns, they still remains in it. No changing. No changing. And you can see we have put many pieces into this. Uh, into the detergent of the silk pieces like satin, tuli, and dupien. And you can see they have been dissolved a lot. Yeah, you can see that they have been dissolved.
and the silk, silk cotton blends. Only the yarns left, the cotton yarns left, and the silk yarns have been dissolved. No changing. No changing. Let's wait for a few more minutes to see what will happen, okay? Just uh, keep shaking to speed up the, you know, the dissolving process. Eventually, they're they are almost gone. All the fabrics they are almost gone, and this silk cotton blend only the cotton, only the cotton yarn left. And the silk yarns dissolved already. Tuli, the nylon tuli and polyester tuli, and the polyester pongee, nothing has changed. Remains the same, exactly the same way it is. The cotton and the viscose, nothing is changing also. Well, you can see inside. Eventually, almost nothing, nothing left, and uh, in a few more minutes' time, everything will be dissolved. Here, I would like to do the uh, summarize, summarize now. And um, if it is really 100% silk, if you put it into the detergent, it will dissolve finally in like five to ten minutes. And uh, if it's uh, polyester or nylon or cotton or viscous, they will not change at all at the detergent. And if it's um, silk blend with the, you know, cotton or any other materials that can be, cannot be dissolved there, those blends, you know, in silk will dissolve, but those blends with the other material will remain the same, re remain, you know, no changing just like this too.